Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, what we're going to do is take a traditional menu design, which is a static menu, and we're going to apply CSS styles, which will allow us to basically have a hover state for each menu item. And we can also animate this afterwards if that is uh, the intention or the requirement. And remember, if you have any questions, uh, please be sure to leave them in the comments below and make sure you subscribe for brand new video notifications. So if we take a look at our design here, what we have are, in essence, three menu buttons. The logo at the top is very simple. It's basically text with a background. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at how we can take this static content. So if we go ahead and export this, you'll see here that, in essence, we just have our static design. There is no... Uh, functionality applied to any of the content itself. First thing that we're going to create for argument's sake, we're going to give this a style of menu. This means is that we're going to modify just the dashboard button itself and then we're simply going to copy it as required. So if we go ahead and modify the dashboard, what we're going to need to do is add an icon class. sorry, item class. Within our item, we have an icon. Now, very important, once we've added a style to an image, we're going to have to reference that immediately uh, within our CSS styles. So let's go ahead and let's actually copy this icon uh, to the pasteboard. There we go. So we have our icon that we're going to use. We need our CSS styles. We're going to need a label. And we're going to need a background. Let's call it BG. Let's just copy both, paste both. Okay, so we have our BG. And we're also going to add our label. So the BG of hover, uh, this looks to simply be an alpha state of uh, the original background. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually add these to a group of item. And the BG now is going to be within item hover. Now if we go back to the design, uh, we no longer need this hover folder simply because we're controlling it within CSS. But under a normal state, the fill color will be in essence the same as the background. Let's copy this. We're going to have, whoops, we're not rotating this. We're going to drag this over. This is the hover state. Now we don't have a hover state for the text. We could, but it's virtually irrelevant at this point. The default state should actually be gray. So let's change that. So we have a quick mistake that I corrected. Uh, we didn't use a curly bracket. And right before we export, what we have to do is ensure that we select nothing because we have our CSS controlled in our pasteboard and ensure that we have CSS images selected uh, because we're going to be using background images to control the hover state. So uh, once we have these, let's go ahead and export. Okay, so you can see here that our content changed but our CSS image did not change. So let's go ahead and let's begin to fix that. We're going to, in essence, create two states for the actual icon. So we can do this very quickly by just grouping it. And uh, we can actually just remove it from the group. We're going to have two states. We're going to have a normal. We're also going to have a hover state. Now, when the item is under normal conditions, normal is visible, but hover will be invisible. 
we're going to recreate those folders once more. When the item is hovered, hover is visible while normal is invisible. We can now simply change our image icon within our layers. Let's call this normal. We're also going to give it a hover state. Let's call this hover. So this is the normal state of the icon, while this is the hover state of the icon. So you can see very easily that we're now able to interchange. So before we export, we just want to make sure that we're including hidden layers because we are uh, using hidden elements within the CSS styles. We don't really need uh, CSS images anymore simply because we're controlling it now using a folder, but we can leave that active, uh, it's irrelevant. So we clean this up a little bit, uh, just so we don't have too many folders here. And now we have our element, but once we roll over, it does exactly what we expect, where we have our line now visible, the background has now changed, as well as the icon color. So now that we have a single button done, what we can do is we can now transfer this to all three objects within our XD file. Uh, let's actually just move this out of the way. We're going to need this icon, that's simply why I'm selecting it, but beyond that, we're going to replace all the elements. So we're going to select our dashboard, we're going to copy this, we're going to paste it, and what we're going to do is we're simply going to move it in the position of our index, and that's it. So in this case, we're going to call it inbox, but we still want it to be a style of item. We still want the line, uh, we still want the icon, but we're actually going to change what the icon is. So we're not going to be using uh, these bars. Let's actually just get this back in here. So for the new item that we've issued, we're going to need this text to say inbox. And what we're also going to need to do is we're going to need to replace the icon uh, that we have within our actual item with our original icon or our inbox icon. So let's do that. This is the normal condition. Let's delete the one we have currently. And let's copy and paste this for our hover state. So if we were to simply hide our normal, what we can do is recolor our hover. So depending on your liking, you can simply recreate pretty quickly, uh, I would say, multiple elements that you need to create into menu systems or hover cards. It really depends on your situation and your circumstance. Now we are going to have to change the icon hover to match the color. And let's do this quickly. We can simply export this. We want to make sure we're selecting nothing because we're using pasteboards. Once we export, you'll see that we now have each menu item now changing on the hover state based on what we've created directly with an XD, and there were no additional files that we used to create this. You'll see that quick and easily, using Adobe XD and Export Kit, you can simply create a hover menu using a few elements and a few CSS states all within Adobe XD without using additional or external files.